What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about another blow to the Bloodborne movement, right? Every month we tend, we actually, uh, I would say every month we tend to hear something almost positive about Bloodborne, but it's almost smoke and mirrors, right? We, we hear stuff and stuff never happens. Now that doesn't mean that stuff will never happen, but we've heard about, you know, Bloodborne Remaster, Bloodborne Remake, we've heard these months and months and months, and now we get Jason Schreier, who, you know, like him or hate him as a person, in terms of his credibility i mean he knows his stuff right he obviously has many uh, internal sources uh, god knows where actually but he's got many of them and he was asked on twitter to, uh, for to i guess talk about you know a, a bloodborne thing and he said he can't leak what doesn't exist so it's not much i mean he, he didn't give a whole like bible into you know what's been going on about bloodborne but he i mean i really that's kind of short and sweet of you know, it's not happening. Nothing is happening. That's how, at least that's how me, just an average viewer, right, or an average uh, reader in this way, reads that. Can't leak what doesn't exist. So that would, uh, to me, that immediately kind of stops all of it, which is very, it, it, it continues to be disappointing. It actually continues to be more puzzling how Sony doesn't do something with Bloodborne, right? You have Blue Point right there, you know, to your left, and we don't necessarily know what they're working on. You know, again, we've heard back and forth things. Um, they, they could be working on their like a brand new IP, like an IP for them. They could be doing uh, almost like a smaller game for a remaster or remake, or or the smaller game is their new IP, right? They could be doing like a Miles Morales sized game with like a four or five, six hour thing. And then also remaking another popular game. I mean, they make so much sense, especially after doing Demon Souls, right? It makes so much sense to do Bloodborne. And of course, I mean, you're going to have the people that say, you know, Bloodborne needs a PS5 version, um, you know, for, <laughs> for the resolution, for, for anything else that, uh, that you can get on Bloodborne on the PS5. I've seen those comments before and people are absolutely right. I mean, we do, we we need Bloodborne um, on next gen. And again, to me, it's more puzzling. It's like, how does Sony not do anything with Bloodborne? It's sold so well. You have Elden Ring hot, you know, very hot <laughs> this entire year, right? It blew up. Who knows? I mean, maybe they're doing something with From Software. There were those rumors uh, actually several months ago that Sony could potentially be buying From Software. If that happens, obviously, you know, we could see something in the future. But I will say kind of what I always say, and it is an optimistic note, I believe we're going to get something eventually i just can't imagine again with from software being so hot not necessarily like it has to come from them by the way right but with them being so hot with bloodborne being a game that that statistically sold playstation right people bought playstations just for bloodborne maybe not like you know a spider-man kind of numbers but people did it you know, how do you leave that alone for as many years as they have without, you know, of course, I, I think a Bloodborne 2 would actually work and would actually make sense. But how do you, how, you know, at, th at this point, you could really do a remaster, be completely cool. And now, specifically because of The Last of Us, you're bordering on, uh, on a remake. I mean, within the next three to five years, could you make an argument? I mean, so we're remaking or they're remaking The Last of Us, right? That's 2013, June of 2013. This game was March of 20. 2015. So we're talking only, you know, if people are saying, well, it's enough time for The Last of Us. Well, in two years, it'll be enough time then for Bloodborne. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, just another month. Only this time, it's actually very negative, right? We've heard from, like, Colin Moriarty that says how, like, we haven't seen the end of, of Bloodborne. Like, he thinks it'll come back in some way. Now we have Jason Trier saying literally nothing exists on this game. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow or support me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.